थर्टींथ जुलै टू थाउजंड ट्वेंटी मॉर्निंग मुरली ओम शांती बाप दादा मधुबन स्वीट चिल्ड्रन यू हैव टू बिकम स्पिरिच्युअल गाईड्स अँड शो दोज ऑफ ऑल अदर रिलिजन्स द वे टू द लँड ऑफ पीस अँड द लँड ऑफ हॅपीनेस यू आर द ट्रू गाईड्स क्वेश्चन विथ चिल्ड्रन रिसीव्ह फुल पॉवर बाय हॅविंग रिमेंबरन्स ऑफ द फादर आन्सर द चिल्ड्रन हू टुगेदर विथ हॅविंग रिमेंबरन्स ऑफ द फादर आर ऑल्सो कम्प्लिटली ऑनेस्ट विथ हिम अँड डोंट हाईड अनथिंग दोज हू रिमेन ट्रू टू द ट्रू फादर and don't commit any sin receive power from their remembrance some children continue to make mistakes and then ask for forgiveness baba says there cannot be forgiveness there is an accurate karmic account for every act song our pilgrimage is unique Om Shanti your children heard the song in order to see how children extract points of knowledge you should find such a songs and ask them to extract the real meaning of each song because these songs also have to be corrected baba has explained that there are some very good songs that can help a great deal to bring happiness to someone who is sitting there worrying these songs are very useful when you listen to the songs you quickly become aware your children know that you are truly the lucky stars of the earth This pilgrimage of us is completely different from those of the path of devotion you are the pandava army on those pilgrimages they have an army of guides each group is led by a separate guide the keep registers and they asks you which clan you belongs to each guide would t- take those of his own clan there are so many guides who take people there you are spiritual guides your name is the pandava army there is no kingdom of the pandavas guides pandas are called pandavas the father is the unlimited guide guides means pandas take you on a pilgrimage the worshipers understand that those guides have bought pilgrims you become guides on the path of knowledge there is no question of taking anyone anywhere you can show someone the path even while sitting at home then the one to whom you have shown the path would also become a guide you have to show this part to one another man mana bhava there must be many among you who have been on pilgrimages your intellects would know how to go to badrinath or to amarnath those guides also know that you are spiritual guides you mustn't forget that you are at the most elevated confluence age your children only have one thing in your intellects that you are the guides to liberation and liberation in life it isn't that the guides to heaven are different from those to liberation you have to faith that you will go to the land of liberation and then go to the new world you guides are number wise according to the efforts you make there are many types of guide 
you are first class guides you show everyone the way to purity everyone has to remain pure everyone's vision has to change completely you have promised that you will not remember anyone except the one baba i will only remember you and you alone when i belong to you my boat can go across in the future there is only happiness nothing but happiness the father is now taking us into relationships of happiness here there is only sorrow nothing but sorrow and any happiness here is like the droppings of a crow you are now studying for the new world you know that you will first go to the land of liberation and then come here you will definitely go home this is the pilgrimage of the power of remembrance the land of peace has to be remembered the father too has to be remembered you must also be honest with the father the father says it isn't that i know what is in each of you no baba is explaining about the acts each of you performs he inspires you to make effort however when you disobey him or commit a sin you are asked have you committed a sin baba has told you that the eyes are very deceitful you should also tell baba baba today my eyes deceived me a great deal i am cautious while i am here but when i go home my intellect causes mischief baba i made a big mistake please forgive me baba says there is no question of forgiveness in this people in the world do that someone would slap another and then ask for forgiveness and everything would be all right again it doesn't take to ask for forgiveness in that way you can't continue to perform wrong acts and then say i am sorry it doesn't work in that way everything is accumulated whatever right or wrong act you perform they accumulate and the fruit of those right or wrong acts will definitely be received in the next birth there is no question of forgiveness whatever one does one receives the fruit of that accordingly baba repeatedly explains this to you he says lust is the greatest enemy it causes you sorrow from the time it starts through the middle to the end baba is called the purifier those who indulge in vice are called impure the father says when you leave here and go outside if you are unable to observe the disciplines you will be unable to claim a high status baba receives all the news while someone are here they say that it is very good but then when they go outside they are unable to put it into practice there is no mention of vice in the golden age this is the condition of bharat now there they live in big palaces they have plenty of happiness baba asks the children about everything baba has to be given all the news some even tell lies just ask yourselves how much do i lie one shouldn't tell baba any lies at all the father is the one who makes you into the truth 
there are no lies there there is no name or trace of that here on the other hand there is no name or trace of truth there is a difference the father says this is a forest of thrones but no one considers himself to be a throne the father says to use the sword of lust is the greatest throne it is because of this that you have become unhappy baba has now come to give you a great deal of happiness you know that previously you truly had a great deal of happiness the golden is al- is also called the land of happiness there is no illness etc there there are no hospitals or jails etc there is no not even any mention of sorrow in the golden age in the silver age there are two degrees less and so there is something that happens nevertheless it is still called heaven the father says your children must now remain in limitless super sensuous joy remember the one who is teaching you god is our teacher everyone remembers his teacher it is very easy for you children who are living here there is no bondage here you are completely free from all types of bondage when the bhatti was created in the beginning they became free from bondage the only concern is for service and how to encourage service baba continues to explain a great deal some come to baba and have a lot of enthusiasm for a month or a month and a half and then they become slack then they don't even go to their centers acha what should be done then you can write and ask them why they aren't coming any more tell them i thought perhaps my heart attacked you or that you had become trapped in bad company or performed a wrong act and fallen in spite of everything they have to be uplifted you have to make this effort you have to win their hearts you can write them a letter many are too ashamed and so they lose hope even after they leave here and go back home news comes that they just sit at home they say that their hearts aren't in this anymore some even write a letter and say your knowledge is very good but i can't remain pure therefore i have left knowledge i don't have that much strength they just write this look how wise makes them fall when they come here they raise their hands to say that they will become a sandanasti narayan from an ordinary man this knowledge is for changing from an ordinary human into lakshmi or narayan the father says the jagri knows and the bag of jagri knows this one is baba's bag this one asks about everything very clearly he receives news of everything shu baba says i come to teach you those who study will become masters the father says your vision has to be changed so much there has to be caution at every step by having this remembrance you can 
earn multi-millions at every step. Many children fell. Even serviceable guides fell. When people go on a pilgrimage, they remain pure. However, some people are so addicted to their habits that even when they go on pilgrimage, they take their alcohol, etc. with them. They keep it hidden. Even great and important people cannot stop taking it. Of what use would that pilgrimage be? Even those who go into battle drink a lot of alcohol first. They drink alcohol and then crash their aeroplanes onto a steamer. They destroy the streamer and kill themselves. You are now receiving the nectar of knowledge. However, remembrance is the main thing. It is through this that you become ever healthy and ever wealthy for 21 births. Baba has told you to write. Come and understand how you can become ever wealthy and wealthy for 21 births you people of bharat know that you really did have long life spans in bharat no one in the golden age becomes ill in the golden age the age of the deities is about 150 years there are 16 celestial degrees full some ask how this is possible. Tell them the five vices doesn't exist there. If there, these vices were to exist there, how could it be the kingdom of God? You would have seen those st statues showing the deities falling onto the path of sin. They are very dirty images this baba says i tell you what i have seen Shri baba says i simply give you knowledge Shri baba tells you the things of knowledge and this one tells you his own experience there are two here this one continues to share his experience everyone knows about his own life you know that you have been committing sin for half the cycle no one commits any sin there no one here is pure you children know that the real bhagavad is now taking place god sits here and gives knowledge to you children in fact there should only be the one Gita. However, what would you write about for Shubhaba's biography? You know that none of the books etc. will remain because destruction is just standing ahead. This knowledge for making effort will also end and then the reward will begin similarly whatever is acted out in the drama continues to be wound on the reel and then the reward begins afresh each one of all the many souls in the drama has his own part fixed those who want to understand these things will do so this is an unlimited play explain to everyone that you can tell them the secrets of the beginning the middle and the end of this unlimited play that is the incorporeal world and this is the corporeal world we will explain to you all the secrets of how the cycle turns whomsoever you explain to will enjoy 
this a great deal. Don't think that no one listens to you. Many subjects have to be created. You mustn't have heart failure in doing service. Just continue to explain. Many customers come to you, businessman. Your businessman say, come and I will make an unlimited deal with you. There used to be the kingdom of deities in Bharat. Where did it go? Come and we will explain how they took 84 births. God speaks. You don't know your own births. You can do a lot of service when you have time. Come and we will tell you the history and geography of the world. No one but the father can explain this. Come and we will explain to you the secrets of the creator and creation. This is now your last birth. You can earn now for the future. Baba explains to you children the way to do service. Your customers will be very happy when they hear these things. They will bow down to you and thank you. Businessmen can do a lot more service. Businessmen put something aside for charity. You are becoming great and write your souls. The father has come and is filling your aprons with the imperishable jewels of knowledge. Baba gives you all types of advice about how to do this and that. Continue to give the message. Don't become tired. Engage yourself in bringing benefit to many. Don't become slack. Let your vision be good. Don't become angry. Interact with everyone with great tact. The father continues to explain many different methods. It is very easy for shopkeepers. Those are deals and this too is a deal. Those people would say this is a very good deal. Many will very quickly become customers there. They would say such a great person who makes such deals should be given a lot of help. Tell them this is your last birth in which you can once again change from an ordinary human into a deity. Everyone receives a reward accordingly to how much he does. Check yourself. Was my vision wrong in anywhere today? It wasn't pulled towards woman, was it? When someone becomes ashamed, he stopped coming here. It is not a small thing to become a master of the world. The longer they have been devotees, the happier they will be. Those who have done less devotion would be less happy. This account also has to be understood. The intellect says, I am now to go home and I will then go to the new world. I will change into new clothes and play my part. I will leave this body and then have a golden spoon in mouth. Acha to the sweetest, beloved, long lost and now found children, love, remembrance and good morning from the mother, the father, Bab Dada, the spiritual father says Namaste to the spiritual children. The spiritual children says Namaste to the spiritual father and good morning. Essence for dharna. The first point, don't perform any wrong acts because of your vision. Your vision first has to be changed. Remain cautious at 
every step and accumulate an income of multi-millions. Second point, whenever you have time, make this unlimited deal. Don't become disheartened in doing service. Give everyone the Father's message and don't become tired. Blessings. May you be an accurate effort maker who experiences all inner happiness and all powers in the lap of love. The explanation those who are real effort makers do not experience hard work or tiredness but always remain intoxicated in love because of being surrendered even with their thoughts they experience themselves being made to move by bab dada not with the feet of hard work but moving in the lap of love because of experiencing all attainments in the lap of love they are not just moving but are constantly continuing to fly with the experience of happiness inner joy and all powers slogan when the foundation of faith is firm you naturally experiences your life to be an elevated life om shanti